Hey guys, Mike here today. Uh, we're going to go over the Mountain House. And this is the freeze dried chili mac and cheese with beef. So, this is a spicy sauce with macaroni, beef, and beans. Um, now, I've had this a couple times before, and I don't use these for much of anything other than if I go out camping or something like that, I will uh, bring a couple of these with me, and it's just nice to have. So, this is the two and a half servings 4.8 ounces. And what's nice about these is all you have to do is just add water. Let me cut this open. Like on the inside. And you just take out your little packet here. Now these are great for if you're going camping, um, prepping, anything like that. Like I said, I use these for, for camping trips. Um, it's just nice to have a convenient meal. So we have that. We're going to add two cups of water. I got the boiling hot water here. And then I uh, usually give them a little stir. Make sure you get down into the corners of it. And you want to close that up good. It's really all there is to it. And, um, it says to, I think it says 10 minutes or so. I like to do it a little bit longer. Yeah, this says eight to nine, eight to nine minutes. I'm gonna put it on there for, oh, about 15 minutes. Now, the Mountain House, they say these have a 30 year shelf life. Good for camping, backpacking, emergency preparedness and survival, hunting and fishing, travel, occasional everyday use. Uh, you definitely don't want to eat these all the time. I think they have a lot of uh, nasty stuff in them, to be honest, but they are good for what they're good for. Now, I bought this at the Walmart. You can get these at Walmart. You can get them online uh, from mountainhouse.com. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And they sell them in bulk pieces, so you can, you can get them in a, uh, the single pack, a four pack, six pack, I believe. And obviously it gets cheaper the more that you buy. Um, and I'm going to do some other reviews on some other ones because I have a whole bunch of these. And we're going to find out which ones we like best as a family and then use them for some of our uh, hiking and camping trips this year. So we'll let this sit and then I'll get back to you on... Uh, how it actually tastes. All right, so it's been 10 minutes now. Um, I actually stuck with a little bit closer to the, the time frame that they're saying, um, just for testing purposes. So let's open this up. Looks good, looks, uh, texture looks good. Let me bring the camera in. Alrighty, so that's the texture there. And I'm gonna pour this out into the bowl now. Alrighty. There's a good sized portion of it. I'm gonna bring in the I'm gonna bring in the rest and let the kids actually try it out inside. Alright, so now we got that. Basically I'm gonna do a test on the visual appear appeal of it, the smell of it, the flavor, and the aftertaste, and the texture. So it smells good, it smells like chili mac. Um, texture looks really good, looks like a, um, you know, one of your stovetop kind of mac and cheese, chili, chili mac things that you would make, like a hamburger helper type deal. All right, let's try it out and see how it tastes. Yeah, so the noodles still have a little bit of crunch to them. I like them a little bit softer. That's why I say that 15 minute mark. It also depends upon 
the room temperature. So it's, I mean, I'm in the garage right now. It's about 50 out here. They give you a lot of beef in this and the beef is tasty. It's not very spicy, uh, which is good because I don't really like um, something that's really spicy and you, you also wouldn't want something real spicy if you're gonna be out backpacking. So, something to keep in mind. The beans, I can also taste the beans are in there, quite a, quite a good number of them. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely good. But you can tell the, the, the pasta is not cooked enough to my liking. You see it's still a little starchy. So I would definitely prefer that cooked longer. But overall, pretty good. Mm. Now, as I mentioned, I've had a, quite a few of these, and I also had some of their desserts, and the desserts are, are really good. There was a chocolate mousse one. I'm not sure if they still make it or not, but I had it probably five years ago. I used to do a lot more camping than I do now, but now that the kids are getting older, I'm starting to get more involved with that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is pretty good, and it, you know, you probably could share this with two people, uh, two adults, or probably three kids for a two and a half servings. Um, you, you'd want to eat something else. You wouldn't want to just have this only, but you certainly could if you had to. So again, this is the Mountain House Chili Mac with beef, spicy sauce with macaroni, beef, and beans. Uh, you just add water, and I would cook it for 15 minutes. Uh, and that's what I would do. That's what I've done in the past. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day today. I'm working on a couple other projects inside the house this morning. And um, yeah, look forward to sharing the next video. I'll put some links down below if you wanna take a look at these. I think it's important to uh, have something like this on hand. You should have a pretty good sized pantry anyways, but it's nice to have something with a shelf life of that long just in case you need it. And for, for camping, it's, um, it's really nice to have a nice warm meal or if you're out snowmobiling um, i'm going up to new hampshire i think next week so maybe i'll bring one of these with me a different one to try out but hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you did and drop a comment down below thanks so much for watching